All right, everybody, the long-awaited asterisk method. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to have standard form AX squared plus BX plus C. You're going to draw your little asterisk, okay? And then in the top, you're putting A times C, which again is the number in front of your X squared times the number at the end. Down here, you're putting B, the term in front of the X. In the top of the asterisk goes A and A, and then underneath goes my factors. All right, so now let's look at example number one, and we're going to fill in our asterisk based on this. In example number one, here is A. A is 12. Here is B, negative 5. And C is a negative 2. So in my top of my asterisk, I'm putting A times C, which in this case is 12 times negative 2 which gives me a negative 24. In the bottom, I'm putting B, which is negative 5. I can fill in A and A, which right here goes 12 and 12. And now I'm looking for my factors. So once again, we have to do A times C and make our factor chart. And we need to add to get B, which is negative 5 in this case. So A times C, I'm multiplying to get negative 24 but I'm adding to get negative 5. So in this case, my factors are a negative 8 and a positive 3. Negative 8 times positive 3 multiplies to give me a negative 24, but adds to give me a negative 5. Now, I'm going to put those two right here. It does not matter which one goes where. So I'm just going to say negative 8 goes here, positive 3 goes here. If you wanted to put the 3 here and the negative 8 here, by all means, go for it. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take these two fractions. These are going to form your parentheses. But I want to reduce my fractions, right? So 12 divided by 3. Both of these are divisible by 3. So I can reduce this, divide by 3, divide by 3. I can reduce this to 4 over 1. Same thing here. I want to reduce this. Okay, both of those are divisible by 4. So this reduces to 3 over negative 2. So here are the two fractions that I care about. So these are going to form your parentheses. So go ahead and set up your parentheses. You're going to take the top number. That's going to be 3x. The bottom number is going to be minus 2. You're going to take this top number, 4x. Bottom number is going to be plus 1. That's positive, that's positive, 4x positive 1, 3 is positive, and then the negative 2. So there's your answer. Now, you don't trust me? Foil it back out. See if you get that answer right there. I bet you do. All right, look at that number 2. Let's rock and roll. A is equal to 2, B is equal to 5, C is equal to negative 3. So once again, I'm looking for A times C, which in this case is negative 6. My B is a positive 5. A, which is 2, goes here and here. Now make our factor chart, A times C. So I know I need to multiply to get a negative 6, but add to get a positive 5. So I'm multiplying to get a negative 6, but I'm adding to get a positive 5. Okay, so 1 times negative 6 multiplies to give me a negative 6 but adds to give me a negative 5. That's not what I want. I want a positive 5. So let's change our signs up and let's say negative 1 times positive 6. Those add to give me a positive 5, which is what I want. So these are my two factors. Okay, so those are going to go here and here. Again, it does not matter which one goes where. Let's say negative 1 goes here, 6 goes here. This is the fraction that I care about. And I always want to reduce those. This can reduce to 1 over 3. 2 over negative 1 cannot reduce, so it stays 2 over negative 1. So let's make our parentheses. 2x minus 1. 1x plus 3. You don't trust me? Fold that back out. Last one. a is equal to 3. b is equal to 2, C is equal to negative 8.
Sorry. There we go. Okay, once again, fill in our asterisk. Duh. B goes at the bottom, 2. A times C goes at the top, which in this case is a negative, 24. A, 3, goes in both top boxes. Now, find my factors. Make our factor tree. So I'm looking that multiply to get a 24, but add to give me a positive 2. So multiply to give me 24, 6 and 4, but add to give me a positive 2. Okay, I know that 6 has to be positive, 4 has to be negative. Why do I know that? Because that's positive, right? So my bigger number's got to be positive. But I know that I have to have different signs because that's the only way to multiply to get a negative. So here are your two factors. 6 times 4 gives me a negative 24. 6 plus negative 4 gives me a positive 2. So again, these two go right cheer and right cheer. So 6, negative 4. This cannot be reduced. This can. Both of those are divisible by 3. So this reduces to 1 half. So those are your two fractions. 1 over 2, 3 over negative 4. Those are going to form my parentheses. 1x to positive 2, so plus 2. 3x, that's a negative, so minus 4. Hope that helps, peeps.